In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make some yummy maple spread. Also known as maple cream or maple butter, but it's basically taking one ingredient, which is pure maple syrup. And you know what? I'm gonna film the whole process and I will share all my tips and tricks so you can try making some at home. So keep watching and I'll show you exactly how I do it. I tested a smaller batch that included two cups of pure maple syrup. And then you wanna turn your heat on low to medium. To make maple cream, you must have a candy thermometer. And according to my dad, we are trying to reach 234 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the maple syrup is in the pot, do not stir it. Just leave it alone while it's boiling. Removing the boiled syrup at 234 degrees Fahrenheit as opposed to 235 or even 236 will create a thinner consistency which will make it much easier to transform into a beautiful cream. Guys, if you could smell it right now in the kitchen, it smells incredible. And this is where you want to really watch because it takes seconds sometimes to go too high of a temperature. So we want to remove it at 234. And according to my dad, sometimes it can actually keep, um, the heat keep, can keep increasing even as you take it off the heat. So you gotta watch for that too. And also towards the end, um, it's easy for the maple syrup to overflow. So you gotta pay attention, be beside it constantly. Do not leave your kitchen. We're like super, super close. And basically what I've done is this was in the fridge this was in the freezer and I have ice inside. I'm gonna pour the maple syrup into here to cool it fast. Pay attention, like I said, it can overflow very fast. And remember, hot maple syrup is extremely hot and you can burn yourself, so please be very careful. I'm watching it like a hawk. Okay, so now, we're pouring the hot maple syrup and it's still in a liquid state. And then we wanna cool it fast. Actually, I'm gonna need the thermometer again because we need to cool it to 90, my dad told me 90 degrees, but somewhere I read 100. So let's shoot for somewhere in between. If you've made maple cream before, I would love to know your tips and tricks. So let me know in the comments at which temperature you remove it from the heat and what you do to help you cool your syrup. Beautiful color. I think I'm gonna take this off. I think. So you can see better. And I almost feel like double checking the temperature just to, to make sure that you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna put it back on the ice. I need to cool it some more. I might even put it in the fridge. Okay, so I wasn't quite ready. Okay, finally. <laughs> so we are at 95. I'm going in between. We'll have to see if that works. So you saw how I had the pot earlier, but then I ended up putting it in the fridge. Once the pot was cool, but that the syrup was still hot, just to help cool it faster. And the idea now is that we're just gonna stir it and stir it and stir it until it transforms into a beautiful cream. It's very possible that we're gonna be doing this for about 20 minutes. I wanna show you another little quick trick. If you want to, to help make this go faster, you can actually put like an ice pack underneath and then just sit it on top. The cold ice pack will help to cool the syrup while you're stirring it. So that can work too. The pot itself is not hot at all, but the, the syrup is still warm. These are my little hacks. <laughs> we'll have to see if my dad approves. And you could have kept the pot if you want with ice. That would have been fine too. Once in a while, go around the edges of the bowl or the pot. It's a good time to get some tunes on <laughs> so you can dance while you stir. Okay, I'm gonna take this away because it's getting a little bit weird to stir with it. But I can already see that this is thickening up, which is awesome. Remember, I'm using a wooden spoon. And yes, my arm is already sore and I'm halfway there. And if you need to put the ice pack again, just to help you, you can do that. 
just sometimes if it gets caught in your kitchen doing so will just help cool it as you're stirring it. It's okay, you can put it on and off. It's looking amazing. I think once we refrigerate it, it'll get even thicker. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it. So I'm gonna put some in a little bowl and I'm gonna put some in a jar. Ideally, you want to transfer the beautiful cream into jars as soon as you can because it will start to get thicker and harder if you leave it for too long. The maple syrup will transform in just a little less than two cups of maple cream. Seriously, look at that. Look at that. And you know what? It's totally okay if you want to like the spoon because it's just pure goodness. It is sweet though. but. It's one ingredient, it's maple syrup. Enjoy maple cream on toast, ice cream, cake, whatever you want. It's just so good. So I hope you try it. And when you do, let me know what you think about this one ingredient recipe. Mm. I'll see you in the next one.